Hey everyone, um, I, uh, I keep on getting requests for 100% crops on certain lenses uh, just to see sharpness and everything. And uh, you can always do it through Photoshop, but I wanted to um, show you guys how to create a preset in Lightroom uh, for those who don't have Photoshop. You don't necessarily need Photoshop. Um, there is no preset way. I've read tons of forums and reviews and blogs, whatever. and uh, everybody's asking the question, how do you make a preset? And there's not really a way of making a preset. Hopefully, Lightroom 5 will have it. Um, come on, Adobe. But for now, um, there is no preset for crops. But I have a way that I think I've been using, and it works really well. It's really quick. It might not be as quick as a preset, but it's just about as quick once you get set up. Um, so I think I would share it with you because hopefully it'll help you guys. So <clears throat> what you're going to do, sorry, first what you're going to do is I've created a folder uh, called 100% uh, Crop. Um, and that's what we're going to work with and always use. Uh, and then I put one image in here. This is just a screenshot. Um, and then you're going to go into your Lightroom and you're just going to import it like normal, right? Just importing a normal file. You go File, Import, and here it is just to show you. Um, right there, 100% crop. And then, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your developer mode and you're going to uh, zoom in at 100%, one to one, right? So there's your one to one, 100% that we're trying to get, okay? Now, <clears throat> you're going to go into your crop. Well, actually, no, you're not, but here, let me show you something real quick. It says one times one, but that's not one to one ratio. People came up on saying, well, why don't you just do that? That doesn't work. It's totally different. What you're going to do is you take an adjustment brush. And I'm using red just so we can see it. And all you're going to do, I'll just quickly, crappily highlight this. You're just going to go around your 100% crop here. This is really terrible, but you guys get the idea. I'll just quickly do this. Oh, that's so nice. So, and then what you're going to go to is crop, okay? You want to go back to fill. Make sure you go back to fill. <coughs> then what you're going to do is you're going to go to, make sure this is locked, your aspect ratio, and you just go to as shot, right? It should be on that as default, but just make a crop. That's roughly good enough for now. Bring it up and drop it. I'm just showing you really quickly. And then uh, because it's perfect uh, to the image size, um, and it, then go enter. There's my 100% crop, okay? But how do you get images? to crop with this. Well, um, what I do is you're going to just take, this is a 400 millimeter lens that's been modified. I've been shooting it on digital and you guys want to see it. So um, you're just going to select all these. This is from another folder and you're going to drop them into this folder, okay? <clears throat> and then every time, and then I can take these out after, right? When I'm done doing what I'm doing. And then you can always have this folder empty with just this um, one that's presetted or cropped I guess and you just drop them in drop them out and then you go in here and you're gonna go in and here's our hundred percent crop folder that we created you go import all those go back to developer mode oh actually I gotta go to my gotta go back to my uh, hundred percent because I gotta get developer mode and we're going to click on this file that we cropped. And you can, you can get rid of your adjustment brush uh, if you want. Uh, doesn't matter, really. Maybe, maybe it would be good to leave it just so you can see it or something. I don't know. But I, I just leave mine. <laughs> and um, then you're just going to uh, select all, synchronize, and make sure everything is uh, deselected, especially this red adjustment brush that I made or your whatever color you use and make sure that crop is the only thing uh, selected and synchronized, okay? So, now, when we click on an image, they will be, look at that, cropped at 100%, right? Perfect, but it's, it's good enough, it's quick, right? And so, um, then you just, you know, you go to file, ah, come on. So yeah, you just go to uh, export and export them just like normal, and you got perfect, uh, almost perfect, hundred percent crops. So that's super quick, super easy. It could once you're set up, once you got this thing set up, it could almost be quicker than Photoshop. Um, 
because then you can just synchronize a huge amount like this. I don't know. I just like it. It seems to work really well. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it helps somebody. Anyways, talk to you guys.